Well, I don't think you're going to have any trouble at all talking, Daisy. I hope not. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't have any trouble talking. I do. <laughs> they, they, yeah, I forgot your name. I'm Keith. sorry, sir. Keith. Keith. And of course, everybody knows who Deb is. I hope so by now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're standing here at, uh, at We Roll yeah. in Ocala, Florida. Mm -hmm. So, first, before we start looking at things and talking about uh, the different options available and things like that, which is where I would like to take this if possible, um, go ahead and just tell us a little bit about We Roll. All right, so We Roll was founded, um, I want to say it was around 2017, 2018, uh, right here in Ocala, Florida, in the same facility. Um, our ownership, we've had it since the end of 2022. They bought it just, I think, shy of December. So we've had it for about a year and four months now. Um, but the product is, is awesome. Um, they're all aluminum constructed trailers, which is a very hard thing to find. Generally, you'll find some aluminum, but you'll find some wood or some, some other stuff in there. So we keep ours all aluminum. Um, so there's no corrosion, no rust, no mold, uh, all that good stuff. So we do insulate the trailers. They have like a one inch insulation in the walls, in the ceiling. We use a, a very exclusive interlocking aluminum flooring as well. Um, and then we also, uh, standard options, they come with your electrical 110, 15 amp, uh, your windows, pretty much just enough to get you going uh, for your build out. Well, this is a cool looking one right here. Is this a particular, you have a particular name for this model here? This is the Gladiator. The Gladiator, yes. so okay. this is our off-road model. It's a Alrighty. nine foot long, uh, four foot nine high, and then five foot wide. Uh -huh. got the other style that we make right over there is the Nomad. Yeah, I was noticing that one, the one that has the, uh, I guess we can walk down there and take a look. Yep. So these are some more Gladiators. These ones come in the three colors. We have the, the sand, uh, white, and then we do have a black as well, but we just don't have one here. At okay. The time. This here. This is the this is an eight foot, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is a Nomad eight. So this is actually the smallest Nomad that we make. We okay. make Nomads all the way up to twenties, as you've probably seen um, some of those big ones. But this is a more livable trailer. Um, it starts I at six foot. Love the foot. windows. <laughs> yep, yeah. Gives you a nice bright look in the inside as well. Um, love and that. then they go all the way to six six high, so you can get an uh, extra tall. And uh, still complete aluminum construction. Now this is a pretty base model, except for we did add the vinyl flooring. That's something we offer, and then the no shelf is also something that we offer. Um, so it's a really nice start for what you you know what sure. you'd like to build it out to. Now a uh, quick. Floor? Quick question. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Air oh, for an air conditioner. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, now it's that cool. Come with that standard hatch. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. And you can, we can, we sell the AC as well. Uh, so, so we can install it for you as well. Um, yep. And a max air vent fan as well. Um, mm -hmm. Put that in as an option too. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now. Did you tell our people their names? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I missed that part. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you I had. forgot yours though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd already forgotten uh, Daisy's and Keith's name, but now I remembered it this time, didn't there I? You go. I, I there I'd you do go. it better. <laughs> so now this is an eight footer. Yes. And the width is what on this one? Six foot. Six foot. Six mm -hmm. foot wide. Yeah. And what's the widest trailer you make again? A six six. Six six. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the maximum height that you make? Six six. Six six. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And otherwise we probably wouldn't be able to roll it out of here. I got you. I understand <laughs> that. Now the next thing, of course, I think you told me that the longest one that you make is eighteen. It's a Nomad eighteen, which is actually twenty foot to the to the front of the nose, because with those three the, the slants at the top, uh -huh. um, so it's just the box area that's your your I understand. Foot, and then you get the extra two. So the right. Nomad eighteen is the biggest one, which will measure twenty. So so it'd be eighteen foot plus the depth of the of the nose or the V, yeah. you might want to say. We actually just had a Nomad 18 roll out of here last week. Uh, went all the way to Texas for delivery. Wow, so fantastic. Chemical uh, constructed, the chemical sensitive constructed trailers. Uh huh. So they're very, very popular. Um, well, the, being, mm -hmm. what sticks out in my mind more than anything else when I see these is, is the fit and finish on the inside, the way, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is all aluminum sheeting yep. Yep. in here. Uh -huh. yep. And are they insulated? Yes, the walls are insulated. Okay, 
So uh, are the walls like one inch thick? One inch, yeah. One inch. So you use like a foam board insulation or what do you use Yes, on that? it is a polystyrene foam board, one inch thick foam board insulation. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Those are things that are important to our viewers. So, Definitely, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. We need and, insulation. and I'm assuming the ceiling is done the same way. It is, yes. All righty. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And of course, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that we've talked about this already, but we'll mention it one more time that they are all aluminum. Yes, correct? All aluminum construction. Okay. Yes. All righty. <laughs> oh, and I see on this one, I've usually seen the, the Jeep style, they call it the square type fenders, but I see on this one you used the, the rounded fenders. Yes, this one does have the rounded fenders. These are actually the standard fenders. Okay. Um, get the walk-on ones like we've got on the gladiator on right that as well. yeah now, which and for the longer ones you know it'll be double axle too so i think the 18 that we ship that uh, double axle yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and i'm assuming that the the double axle ones are 3500 pound axles yes, yes. am i correct on yeah. that so double, okay yeah two 3500 and then this will be one single 3500 okay this trailer this one has the flooring so it's a little bit higher i want to say this one was just over 1300 pounds as far as weight okay mm -hmm. now the axles are they standard straight axles with leaf spring suspension or or they're the dexter torflex axles okay so that's like a torsion bar yes okay so, yes, yes, so it's yes. a torsion bar suspension on that yeah all righty and and that's standard on all of them yes okay mm -hmm. well that's nice to know yeah that's nice to know yeah. and here again back to that fit and finish thing that things like the way these corners are done really stands out to me i just really appreciate how how there's some good nice fit and finish and detail on that the way you put them corners together yeah. little bitty things you know yeah. to me and the cool thing is too now this one does have a max a max air fan which is always a, an option that the customer would choose but our our roofs are actually they're one piece aluminum sheeting okay so guaranteed to have no leaks of course if you have a max air fan after so long you, you're always going to want to you know maintenance on that but the way the roof the roof crown works actually the sheeting it'll get laid over and then it actually gets bent down and then these the trim goes over it fantastic so yep one piece sheeting fantastic it's a big thing that we roll was built off of was that, that got gotcha. piece roof so now i see it looks like we got a what a 15 amp inlet or 20 amp inlet that or one's it's a 15, 15. yeah 15. 30 amp service upgrade too yes for these. do you really yeah mm -hmm. we do well yep. most of the bigger ones will get the 30 amp actually the one that's being built inside right now which we'll show you in, in just a little bit okay. that one does have the 30 amp upgrade um they were actually just working on getting that all wired today too so now i see this one has the barn doors on the back but if i I remember correctly uh, when we did some walkthrough videos at our last rendezvous and I think you watched one or two of them mm -hmm. um, they had ramp doors yes yeah That's an so, so you can go both ways you can you go either can, the barn yes. doors or the ramp doors yeah we have some uh, customers that like to use it as a toy hauler as well so they always think about what they can drive up that ramp door um, we've also had some people uh, make it into a deck which is really cool oh yeah i like that idea yeah we see that a lot uh, uh in our travels yeah. you know um and another thing that stood out in my mind and I, i'm trying to remember the couple's name because we did like two or three walkthrough videos on we roll trailers but one of them did not have the cable system with the garage door style spring on top there was it was a different kind of setup where there wasn't any am, am i thinking right or do you okay i can edit that out <laughs> I'm trying to think of what it could be. Uh, I'm just Was it a ramp door? Put that in. Yeah. Right. Yes. So if you get a ramp door, you're getting those springs. So it makes life a lot easier, too. So. Okay. So we did a little clarification here uh, just to be sure that I wasn't uh, thinking about something else. But um, that's the way all of your ramp doors come. Yes. They yeah. don't have the cables that come down, the support mm, cables no. with the spring up on, on top. But it's all built in down at the bottom. Yep, that's yeah. down at where the hinge is, so you wouldn't even notice it. But yes, it helps a lot with the assisted going down and going back up. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, nothing's in the way, exactly. Absolutely. And still the same old bar lock too, so super convenient. Yeah. yeah. Just for just for for grins, uh, do you happen to know the weights off the top of your head? Like if I was to say a six six by fourteen, roughly how much would that one weigh with a, a six 14, inch ceiling? Fourteen. Oh, I have it in the office. I know. I want to say that one's going to be around eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. I can tell you that Nomad eighteen that just rolled out weighed in at twenty five sixty five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the Nomad that that 
Is that an 18? That was a Nomad 18, yeah. yeah. Okay. Extra tall, extra wide. Extra, extra tall like, and an extra basically wide. basically the biggest yeah. dimension you can get from us. Yeah. Extra tall, extra wide, 18. So how much okay. is your extra tall? How tall was it? Six six. six, six. Yeah, six, so six, six, six is six, the maximum height six, they can go. Yeah, okay. And yeah. Six, six wide. We actually had put E track uh, along the walls of that one. It had the backing plate, uh, the D rings, and yep, it weighed in at two, six, five, six. So. Well, I know with a lot of our two, viewers, five, uh, five, weight is very important, yes. uh, especially when a lot of them are wanting to be able to get as yeah. much room as they can, as large a trailer as they can for maximizing the room yes. and still be able to tow it with a with a smaller vehicle, right. you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, not everybody wants to drive around in a big three quarter ton or one ton rig, you know, all the time. Definitely, so, definitely, yeah. 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 So These this is, uh, this, this one without flooring base, I, I know it's around 1100, just a little really over 1100, okay. yeah. yeah. Well, this is just as cute as a button. I, it really is. <laughs> I think this is the cutest little thing yeah. right here. Sure enough. <laughs> All righty. And I just, it just so happens that I'm not hooked up to any trailer while I'm sitting here. And I think I could just change out the ball and I could go ahead and just you drag could, this. You could, yeah. Yeah, just drag it back with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, all right. So, anything else out here before we move on? Uh, unless you want to check out some of these gladiators. Sure. Uh, I want to say, okay, this is another one that has the vinyl flooring. So, there's another option of vinyl flooring that we have. Um, but yeah, we do have the quote form on our on our website that has all of the add-on options that we offer at this time. But, okay. Um, you know, look forward to the end of 2024. We're looking to keep adding some exciting stuff. So. Of course, they can go to your website and they can find all yep. that information. Yep, uh, we have everything listed. You can even see exactly what all of these are made out of, you know, the thickness of the aluminum. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all on the website. And Everything's on there. goes without saying, but you've already told me this already, but this has torsion bar suspension mm -hmm. yep. on it. And uh, we've got some oversized off-road tires yep. there I'm looking at. American mm -hmm. Racing Wheels on it too. So. Oh, yeah. Because you want to go fast and off-road. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you also, go. We offer the lock and roll as well, which is a popular thing. Uh, we've actually made quite a few nomads, and we can upgrade them to off-road. So we'll do the off-road tires. We'll do, you know, the walk-on fenders. Uh, some people will add the lock and roll if they're going to take their nomad off-road. They, they look really, really nice. Oh, I, I can see how it could, oh, especially yeah. if you went with the walk-on. Yeah, the walk-on fenders like you're yeah. talking about. It looks and, nice. Uh, and the beefy wheels and tires like mm -hmm. that, that would really make that, that little and puppy also look really neat. extended tongues, right? Yeah. They're longer than the... Is that the standard tongue length? Yes. That yep. we're looking at? Yep. A lot of times people will add the wee box. I don't have any on here right now, um, but we do offer this uh, mounted toolbox here where um, okay. you probably see actually one of the videos you did, I believe they had their AC mounted right. in the toolbox. Yes. So they yes. actually brought that one here and I was just wowed by their build yeah. out. Love that, it. that was, that was uh, I would have never dreamed about doing something like that. Yeah. But the way they did that, it really they come out really nice. Well. Yeah, actually, it really well. Actually, I have did. someone right now looking to build one and they said, uh, that's exactly what they said. I want it just like that one on YouTube. <laughs> and, it, and it was their trailer. It was their okay. trailer. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All righty. Yep. Well, uh, I'll say it right now then, Daisy. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> 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 yes, no, it's awesome. It's very uh, cool to see that stuff. So. Yeah, so these are the Gladiator series here. And then, of course, that one down there is the Nomad series. And um, now, when we get into the larger ones with the tandem axles, are they still part of the Nomad series? Yeah. Yes. Okay, we so. A bigger gladiator. Gotcha. Right, yeah, it's just a nine foot Gladiator. Yep. Once you get to the Nomad, so the Nomad 12 is a single, but you have the option to add a dual axle on any of those. Uh, once you hit a 14, it is, you're going to get a dual axle with okay. electric brakes. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Anything else before we go inside? Thank you. Well, All we'll right. Let's see where, we, where they make these bad boys. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> so this one here, you'll notice immediately that it looks different than the one outside. And the biggest things are going to be these rivets. Uh, reason being is because this is a chemical sensitive build. So in this particular build, we do not use the 3M VHB tape. It's completely screwed and riveted in. So you're taking away the adhesives and the glues for those particular sensitive uh, customers. Um, this is a quite a common request really? that we roll. Oh yeah, the last three trailers down the line have all been chemical sensitive. Wow. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. So um, because aluminum already has the nature of you know no no mold, no rust, no corrosion, it's already a popular choice. But taking away those extra things, 
um, it's a lot of people actually will live in them full time to heal from sensitive. Sure. Uh, yeah. From That's understandable. So, huh. yeah. Never even knew. Well, and this we can also get a good view of uh, yeah. the thickness of the so wall. So this one, and don't mind, it's probably a little messy on the inside, but this one actually is going to have a 30 amp service. So this customer is adding that box. If you take a look on the inside of the wall, you'll see that it has that 30 amp box that they're still setting up here. Oh yeah. Yeah, right up there. Get ready to add a nose shelf. Uh -huh. um, this also is a Nomad 8, uh, but it is an extra wide Nomad 8. Okay. Yeah, so how wide is So this is your 6.6? Six, six. It's a 6.6 six, six wide, okay. yep. 6.6 six, six <laughs> wide. And one thing, and I was going to ask that when we were outside, yeah. because I, <laughs> I noticed the cove molding, you know, that you had on them outside, and I was going to ask if all if the wiring was ran inside there, and, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. lo and behold, it is. Yes, it is. It's, it's for easy access, right? Because yeah. a lot of people like to yeah. add stuff and convert stuff after the fact, so right. it's easy to get to, yep. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is cool. This is actually an extra tall as well, so it's extra tall, extra wide. So this is 6'6 six, six wide, 6'6 six, six tall. Yes. And how long is it again? This is a Nomad 8. So it's an 8-footer. Just a regular extra tall. The, the actual square box is 8 foot plus plus the depth of the, of the nose. Yeah. Right. Well, that yeah. really makes this little trailer look appear a lot larger. It, it does. Yes, yeah. It does. <laughs> sure enough. It really does. Wow. Wow. Cool. We have a regular extra tall and then an extra extra tall. Okay, a regular extra tall. So standard six foot, I just made this regular extra tall, or just the XT is 6'3", and then an XXT is 6'6". Six, six. So ah. We actually have two heights we can do on the uh, ah. We'll see if, if I was to ever get one like this, I, it would have to be... The 6'6". Six, six. Like this. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah for me. That way you can kind of stretch in the morning, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I'm a... Walk straight, walk up. Yeah, right. for sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Wow, this is good looking. I like that. Now, are there other colors available besides the white? So, right now we just do the white and the anodized silver. Uh, we have done some different colors in the past. I don't see why we couldn't do some in the future if it was by request. Okay. We would just have to check with availability just because some colors uh, just comes to your lead times. We have some really good lead times right now. We're anywhere from two to six weeks depending on the actual build. Um, I haven't had one that's taken six weeks in a while. They've gotten, I mean, the Nomad 8, I think we had it in production three, or 18, sorry. We had it in production from three to four weeks, and uh, that was a big one, a yeah. very big trailer. Well, I can see a lot of viewers that might have some real interest in this because of the extra width, mm -hmm. still be in an eight-foot length box. Mm -hmm. Plus the nose, I'll have to make sure I throw that in there. Yeah. Uh, but that extra width just makes it look so much more it roomier. Does, yeah. yeah, I feel the same and way the when I look height. at the other one and I look at this, I'm like, gosh, it does yeah. look so much bigger. Absolutely. I can generally tell as soon as they start building the floor, I'm like, oh, I try to guess the size, you know. Oops. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. This, I like this one. Yeah. I really do. And it always cool. looks clean. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, the Wii Rolls, they just never look dirty. <laughs> you can have it out there for years, and I promise you, it's going to look clean all the time. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Something I've noticed. Is the, yeah. All right, what else are we going to look at? So we have a, a floor right now where okay. um, generally Craig, he's the welder, but he's, like I said, he's helping Chaz finish the, this trailer here. Now this is, a, I believe, a 10. The Nomad 10, and, uh, and this is upside down. So it's actually really cool to see how he does this because wow. let me see if I can show you a flooring and how it actually seems together. Hey, Craig. This is our welder, Craig. Hey, Craig. Hello. Awesome. I have been admiring your work, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So do you have two pieces of board that I, we can show him kind of how it interlocks um, together? I got some. And then what he does is he... It all in place. So this is the underside. Yes, this is the underbelly. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to assume that the frame rails. Well, I'll let Craig tell us. Yeah, Craig would be yeah. better explaining all that stuff. That's the sides of it. Uh huh. And that's your interlocking. That mm -hmm. so that's the floor that we see. Well, what we're looking at right now. The underside, these these rails we see here, 
is this right here and this is the top side but this is how they they interlock together that is really cool and it's washable no rot no rust yeah last forever that is fabulous absolutely you, fabulous the to the everything yes yeah wow that is a big thing we get asked all the time like is there wood is there i'm like no nope, it's, it's all of them. Well, from here he starts. Uh, so, what do you start with first, Craig? Once you have all the, the floor uh, interlocked, I run my side rails, uh -huh. and then I tie my uh, braces in, tie my bumper in, lock everything so it doesn't shift on me, and then I finish it up with them with my, uh, my nose and my okay, spine right down the middle. Yeah, center my assholes. And, yeah. Well, stabilize the coupler, and then we flip it up and get the wall. So you weld your 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 frame rails and everything on while it's upside down, right here, and then flip it. Oh, cool. Yeah, we flip yeah. it with this little guy right here. Ah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so easy, she can do it by herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, as, as as muscular as you are, you wouldn't need that thing. You could just do it all by yourself. Yeah, but right. I like my back. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I uh, hear you. Yeah, yeah. All righty. Yeah. Okay. It's really fun watching him do this. I yeah, did. I love all yes. That's I've learned a whole lot from just working at that people all about wow. fabrication and aluminum and. This is impressive. Yeah. This is this really is truly impressive. This this is where a person can begin to see the real value. Yes. You yeah. know, for and sure. You flip it up, you'll start seeing where the walls and, the, and you know the whole frame. You've probably seen photos. Uh, Facebook or something of you know yeah. chassis. Sure. Uh, it's it's really cool watching the whole process come alive. Oh it's awesome. Absolutely yeah, awesome. Yeah. Alright. Well, one thing I, I do think we need to briefly mention before we say goodbye to each other, and by the way, we've really enjoyed visiting with you and Keith today, Daisy, yes. and we and again, we want to express our appreciation for WeRoll allowing us to come down here and, and do this uh, for our viewers. Well, thank yeah. you. It was a pleasure yeah. having you guys here. But let's, uh, let's briefly mention this before we say goodbye. Uh, you have different kinds of racks available, yes. and like these here and they're available for all of your trailers, is yes, that correct? No yep. matter what, what width you go with. Right. And then of course, uh, uh, there, here's another example of a rack right here. Yeah. And uh, is, is, that the, is that mainly the ones you offer, those? So or is there on another the one as well? Gladiator, we offer these ones, uh -huh. uh, this one here, and then we also offer it to where it does come all the way down as well as a full roof rack. Oh, really? I just don't have one here to show you right now. That's fine. And Craig, as you, uh, who you met earlier, he actually handcrafts all of these roof racks. Well. Um, so if you have a wee roll and you don't have racks now, we, like I said earlier, we ship them out uh, statewide um, and we'll get the exact dimension, you know, they'll measure the roof, uh, the width of their roof and we'll make them some roof racks and ship them with the, the bolts and everything so they're easy to install. Fantastic. Um, for the Nomad, we generally they'll come with these standard uh, roof racks. They look a little different because they'll be the aluminum color versus these are uh, powder coated black. Unless you get the blackout package, which you can do on your Nomad and then all of your uh, little features will be black. Um, okay. The other option is we can do a 90 degree. So instead of it curving like this, you can do a straight up one by request. Wow. Generally, if they request that one, it's because of a specific awning that they're going to install on their trailer. Um, sure. So just, just depending on which one they want, we'll make them either way. Yeah, fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah. I love the blackout. Yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a nice little feature. They got a little pollen because you know how it is right yeah, now. Well, oh, <laughs> yes. It's a pollen season's crazy, but. So well, I got to ask I, you. I never <laughs> thought I'd want a white trailer, but I love the black and the white. It pops. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You should so. see the Nomad. The Nomad with the off-road tires, the walk-on fenders, the white with the blackout package. Yep. It looks beautiful. Well, that's probably probably the one I would want to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the extra wide and extra tall mm -hmm. version. Yes. In the yeah. extra wide, extra tall. Yes. yes. That's All right. on my list. I'm looking to get one too here soon. So. <laughs> so, Daisy, thank you so much again. Uh, we really appreciate you allowing us to come over here. We've had a wonderful time with you all, and hope, hopefully maybe we'll see you all again someday. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Thank you. But anyway, for now, we're going to have to say goodbye. Now, this is Bill and Deb and Daisy <laughs> with I Ride Tiny House Adventures here at the We Roll Construction Facility in Ocala, Florida, saying, we're not camping. We, we are, are living. living. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye now. Well, you're sure welcome. Thank you. Thank you for taking your time. Yeah.